Are you wearing your swimming goggles wrong? Perhaps you're constantly dealing with water leaking in, giving you a headache whilst you're swimming, or perhaps simply coming off as you're swimming. These are all things you should not be putting up with. Goggles can be and should be comfortable to wear. So today, I'm going to be running through a few simple tips as to how you should wear your swimming goggles. Now there are a ton of different swimming goggles out there, all different shapes, styles and sizes, some of which may work for you, whilst others may not. That's a simple fact. A little bit like a pair of running shoes may work for one person, but not for another. Now personally, I really like this style of goggle. Not too big and fit comfortably around my eyes, not putting too much pressure on the eye socket or the eye itself, whilst others prefer something a little bit larger like this and larger again and tend to have a slightly softer feel on the seal and then there are others out there that like the good old-fashioned smaller Swedish goggles which have well very little cushioning or padding or on the seal of them but before you go throwing every pair of goggles away as you attempt to find the perfect goggles for you let's just make sure you're actually wearing them correctly in the first place so I probably don't need to tell you that this part here goes at the front and this bit goes at the back but actually how you place these straps can actually make a big difference to the feel and the comfort of these goggles whether you start by placing the goggles on first or the straps is entirely up to you personally i start by roughly placing the straps on the back of my head and then pulling the goggles over and gently placing them on my face we'll get to the goggles bit in a second though now you want to place the straps above your ears not over them and assuming you have a split strap, you want to place one towards the bottom of the crown of your head and then one slightly higher, around two to three finger widths higher. Not far off the nine and 10 o'clock positions or two and three if you're looking from the other side of the head. But the big question is how tight do they need to be? Now obviously you don't want them so loose that they are leaking and letting water in or slipping off every time that you push off the wall. But equally, you don't want them so tight that they feel like they're about to pop your eyeballs out. Now, if you're having to tighten your goggles that much to stop the water from seeping in, then I'm afraid the goggles probably aren't for you. And also, it's not normal to experience a headache after every swim from wearing your goggles. If so, they're too tight. And what you want to do is actually start by having them just a little bit too loose, maybe at the point they are letting a bit of water in, and then just start by incrementally, bit by bit, tightening the straps on them to the point they feel just tight enough, they feel secure, comfortable, and not letting any water in. So now let's move back to the actual goggle pieces and how you actually place them onto your eyes because that's obviously fairly important. Now ideally you want to have the goggle pieces nice and level, ideally not stretching the skin or forcing the eyes shut and you do want to stay away from pushing the goggles on so hard that they feel like they're sucking your eyeballs out. Now obviously how you place them onto your face is entirely personal, everyone has different preferences here. Now personally I like it when the goggle piece sits almost on the edge of my eye socket. Some people, particularly with the larger goggles, will have it so it sits around the eye socket and then others sits inside the eye socket. Like I said, that's entirely personal. Just as you do put the goggles onto your face, just make sure that you're not trapping any hair between your skin and the seal of the goggle. That will essentially break the seal and could result in water seeping in. Another area that can cause some discomfort comes from this part, which is the nose bridge. Now on some goggles, you don't really have a choice on it because it just comes with a fixed nose piece, you can't change it, but they tend to be a little bit more flexible so that you can squish the goggle pieces in and out. But on a lot out there, you get these rigid nose pieces, but you tend to find that they come with a number of different shapes and sizes to suit the different shapes and sizes of faces. So these can easily be changed in and out to find the perfect fit for you. Well, now that you have your goals on your face, and now's the time to place a swimming cap on over the top, if you plan to wear a swimming cap or you have to due to the pool that you're swimming in. Now, whether you place a cap on over the top of your goggle straps or underneath your goggle straps, is another topic for debate. Now, personally, I'm in the habit of placing on over the top simply due to the fact that it holds the goggle straps and the goggles firmly in place. And also, not to mention also the added hydrodynamics and the streamlining effect that you get from placing a cap on 
over the top of the goggle straps. Also, for those triathletes that might be watching this who are probably well aware of how choppy and how physical swims in triathlons can get, it's not too uncommon to find people knocking your goggles and perhaps goggles coming off. By wearing a cap on over the top, it will hopefully hold those goggles in place so that you don't lose your goggles that will stay with you rather than sinking to the bottom of the lake or the sea. Now hopefully that has answered a few questions for you and solved a few frustrations on wearing swimming goggles. If you do have any more questions, drop them in the comments section below. I just advise trying to find a pair of goggles that fit your face and if you can follow some of these tips today, hopefully you'll find, or I'm sure that you'll find, they'll be far more comfortable and far more pleasant to wear.